Hi, my name is Kristen and this is Mary and today we're going to demonstrate the Aquarium Lab. Mary is going to explain the purpose of the lab and show you how we set up the aquarium, the cooler for the lab today. Alright, the purpose of this lab is to introduce students to heat transfer. So, take a look inside. We have an acrylic panel in the center and temperature probes mounted on the walls. Once the cooler is closed, it is assumed to be completely insulated. So any temperature change will just happen between the two sides um, of the acrylic panel. So, start, we need to put our safety gear on. And now, can you get the guys to come over and pour the water? So now we have hot water on one side and cold water on the other side of the acrylic pad. So we're going to put the styrofoam on top just to seal it. Close the cooler. Turn the thermometers on. And then we're going to start recording data. Okay. So it's been a minute, so we're going to take our first reading. The cold side, we have 59.2 degrees Fahrenheit. And for the hot side, we have 92.5 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, we're going to wait another five minutes and take the temperatures again. So every five minutes, for the next 30 minutes, we're going to take a new set of temperatures. So we have five minutes, and we're now going to take our second reading. For the cold water, we have 62.3 degrees Fahrenheit. And for the hot water, we have 91.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So now we're going to wait another 25 minutes, and at the end of that time, we're going to take, uh, we're going to have all of our readings, and we'll see how much so we transfer. We just finished our 30 minutes, and we're going to take our final reading. For the cold water, we have 78.2 degrees Fahrenheit. And for the hot water, we have 86.4 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, now that we have all of our temperature readings, we are going to graph the temperatures versus each other. And we're also going to use Fourier's law and the conduction equation, which is equation two in your handout. And we're going to find the heat transfer rate through the acrylic panel. Welcome to today's applications. Today we'll be talking about heat loss in an aquarium. Now heat loss is a very important problem in aquariums because the water needs to be at a certain temperature for the fish to live comfortably. Tropical fish will need a warmer temperature and saltwater fish will need a lower temperature. Now you've already done the R cooler experiment so you know the heat transfer coefficient of the acrylic panel. Now assuming that this aquarium is made of acrylic panels, we know the heat transfer coefficient so we can model how much heat will be lost to the outside air. So that will help us to be able to pick the proper heater to keep the water at a certain temperature depending on which fish we have. That's today's application.